Now, while we can easily write JavaScript code in between the script element, in a real world application, we have thousands or even million lines of code. We don't want to write all that code in line here. We want to extract and separate our JavaScript code from our HTML code. Let me give you a metaphor. Think of your house. In your bedroom, you have your bed and your clothes. You don't store your clothes in the kitchen. This is what we call separation of concerns. We have the same principle in programming. So we want to separate HTML, which is all about content, from JavaScript, which is all about behavior. How should your web page behave? What should happen when we hover our mouse over a given element? Maybe something should pop up, maybe something should be hidden. So we use JavaScript to implement behavior. So open up the Explorer window, add a new file, call it index.js. Now back in index.html, Cut all this JavaScript code here and then paste it in index.js. Now, in this simple application, we have a single file, a single JavaScript file. In a real world application, we have hundreds or even thousands of JavaScript files. Later in the course, you will learn how to combine these files into a bundle and serve that bundle to the client. Now, save the changes back in index.html. Now that all our JavaScript code is in a separate file, we need to reference that file here. So let's add an attribute here, src, which is short for source, and set it to index.js. So this tells the browser that our JavaScript code is now in index.js. Save the changes back in the browser. You can still see the hello world message, and that confirms that our code is still working. In the next lecture, we're going to execute this code in Node.